Hello, this is public speaking coach Milo Shapiro with today's topic, which is snipping tool for PCs. I am always amazed how many people with PCs don't know about this great feature called snipping tool. As you can see down here, I have it on my toolbox. I use it so much. If you don't, you can find it by doing snipping tool and finding it, but you're going to want to pin this somewhere or at least save it to your desktop. So what is so great about this tool? It allows you to cut anything you want off a screen. Let me show you a simple example. I'm going to go over to Firefox for a second. Why is Firefox acting up? Here we go. That's not the one I want. Firefox. Let's say I want this was a picture of my home. It's not, I wish. But I wanted to show somebody something about that door. Watch how I snip. I'm going to use snipping tool. I happen to have it open already, so I'll click it. And I'm going to say, do a new snip. The screen goes a little bit gray, and it's got these crosshairs. And all I do is I take the portion. Maybe I don't want the whole picture. Maybe I just want that much of it. And boom, now it's inside of snipping tool. I have two choices I mostly use, which are save. And I will save this as a JPEG to be able to use anytime I want. Or copy, if I'm just going to paste it into an email or a document, maybe I don't want to save it at all. Another thing I can do is I can mark it up. Maybe I want to draw attention to this door over here. So I'll say, using a red pen, draw an arrow to that door. It doesn't come up very much. Then I'm going to say, copy. Then I'm going to go over to a Word document like this one. I'll erase this middle part. And I will paste. The picture. Maybe I wanted to say something about that door, door over there. So I can type, I'm going to do it right above it. I can write use side door. Maybe I wanted a delivery there or something like that. So what can I do from there? I can use snipping tool again. Watch. I will take my snipping tool and say new. I can cut this out with the words right in it and say, use side door. Now I have an arrow pointing to the side door and the words on it. What can I do with that? I'll copy it again. I'm going to go to Outlook and boom. Put that in, maybe I use that phrase a lot, with that picture a lot, and now I'm ready to send it. So many ways that you can use this to make your life easier. It's a lot better than using screen print or alt screen print because that doesn't give you the same control that this does. So if you're wondering, well, what about on a Mac? Could I do that on a Mac? Absolutely, you can do it on a Mac. I'm going to delete this image and these words, and you can see down here there is how to do your whole screen or more likely how to do a partial screen using Mac. It's actually easier on the Mac because you don't have to open any software. You just use your command shift keys to make that happen. Where did I get that information from? I went over to Google. I, it's gone now. <laughs> no, there it is. I went over to Google. I found it. I used snipping tool. New. And I snipped it and said copy or save and pasted it into this document. So it's there for you. That's all for today. If you ever have a need for a public speaking coach, I work both in person and via Skype, go to publicdynamics.com. Thanks for listening today.